Hey everybody, welcome back to the Savage Kitchen. Let's get to work. Good morning, Trig. Today we actually have a special guest with us today. We have really? Warren Epstein. He's the arts and culture editor for the Gazette. Welcome, welcome, Warren. Nice wow, to be here. a special guest. <laughs> hey. I bet it's an honor to be here. It is yeah. such an honor to be here. <laughs> Did I not say that? Our so, 15 uh, viewers are gonna love seeing you. <laughs> so we got some nice chicken here, right? Uh, no, not chicken. We're doing pheasant today. Actually, we're gonna do a stuffed pheasant breast <laughs> with our mushroom duck cell. Mushroom duck cell we covered in one of our previous episodes. It looks exactly like chicken. Yeah, they're they're pretty much hard. The only way you're gonna tell a little bit of difference, a little darker meat. Oh, oh you're leaking, there. you're leaking. You're I'm leaking. That's, Won't be the that's first trig. <laughs> and, and we're wearing our We're wearing our gloves glove. because working with poultry, working with any kind of game bird, pheasant, a lot of chance of getting people sick. This is safe cooking, although I find I don't get quite the sensation of cooking as I anyway. You're you're a tactile <laughs> chef. <laughs> you're, you're well, the we're not gonna touch that one. All right, guys, let's all grab our pheasant. Easiest way. I like to do this with the legs coming to me, the little wings up front. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push on the bird. Try to get it flat on your table because so, you don't want it to roll on you. That's, that's fine. You got a nice uh, uh, bone right down the center of it. What we're going to do is you can go on the left or the right side. I usually go on the left side. Go straight in. Follow that bone down. Cut back. Then you're going to get your finger in there. Basically what we're going to do is we're letting this knife just ride along the bones. And then you'll cut right down the, the, the rib bones. And as you cut through, keep pulling, the keep pulling the meat away from you. So I've got it nice and opened up. Now go ahead and take, do the same thing on your other side. Go through. And a nice sharp knife is a definite must for this. Yeah, so now we now we've got her there. What you're going to do, you can take it and pop your pop your leg bones. You'll feel them pop. There's a little socket in there. Oh. Feel that pop. Hear the crack of it. That's the way I sound when I wake up in the morning. Okay. <laughs> All right. Once again, dry the hand off. You're good, Warren, on that okay. one. That seems to have gone. Okay. Now that you've got it all opened up, yeah. up top here, where your little wing bone is, there's a small joint there. You should be able to cut straight down through that. Basically, when we get that, what you can do, flip it up, cut down. Basically, we're just going to take this breast away. Actually, I guess I didn't get through mine as much as I did, thought I did. Chef? Yes? I'm not finding the joint. Okay. Can we get some etiquette things out of the way? Sure. Is this his cutting board and this is mine? <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it should be, yes. Yeah. The trick seems to be going everywhere. So. Because I, I'm I am working with a knife here. It's okay. like crossing the streams in Ghostbusters. We don't it's, want to go Yes, there. exactly. <laughs> Please. Look, I had a nice yeah. chicken leg, a wing here. Oh, look. It was already thin and yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just had to jump in. in. See, that's where you need to learn your place. You look, stand look, your own look, side. look. I did not do look, that. Once again, you're violating my space here, not to be, you know, in like the backseat of the car. We need to have guests on more regularly. You're absolutely awesome to me when we have guests on. Help me. I, actually, you do seem a little nicer to him than you usually are in some of the Well, it's a little harder for me to hit him. I, you know, I, with the gloves and the knives. With the gloves, the, 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 what we're playing But if you do hit him, it's not going to be pretty. Well, no, because <laughs> you might get hit too. Huh? If I come across, you know, I don't think that's fair to you. You don't deserve it. No, no, I appreciate it. You might deserve that. it, you don't deserve that. Fair so. enough. I'm going to get our duck cell ready to go. Trig, if you would please hand me that pastry bag over there. Trig. Ow! Pastry bag, please. Sorry, Warren, didn't mean no, to no, catch you in that a little right, bit, I... but. Yeah, Pay attention, you're not a samurai. Stop playing around. Yes, chef. Remember you know, I'm, su I'm surprised by how few ingredients really there are. Just to, it, yeah, it's not really it's much. It's not a complicated thing. No, and like I said, in one of the previous episodes, we did this mushroom duck cell, which is really actually very simple too. 
Trig, may I borrow your knife for a minute? Oh, stop shaking. Thank you. How I'm going to do this, I'm going to take it, I'll flip it up so you can see it. I'm going to go straight in through the middle of the breast. Oh, what's your knife's a little too big for this? Yeah, yes, it is. Make a nice, nice hole in there. Basically, you can get your finger in there. Because so now what I'm going to try to do is take our stuffing, cut a nice little hole in it, and we're going to stuff the breast this way. We can just squeeze. So I want to cut, cut a hole right in the middle. Yep, I'm trying not to go all the way through. It's, it, right. it's a little, uh, yep. You can take your finger, just push it in a little bit more to fill that gap. And could, because this is going to shrink when it cooks, you don't want to overstuff it or else your stuffing is just going to come flying straight out of it. So It's okay to acknowledge the sensuous nature of yeah. this part of the cooking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, it seems to be doing well. Trig, here is your knife back. So you can try to do that. Here's another way of doing it at home. If you want, you can butterfly the breast. Flip it skin side down. Just cut halfway through. And you can open the breast up. Just kind of lay it in there. Yeah, and just lay your duck cell in there. It's nice and moist still. And then that will lead to more stuffing, I think. Yeah, actually this might get more. And then you can just fold it back over. And if you have a toothpick or a skewer at home, you can just kind of weave it. Go up and come back down. And go through. Oh, no. Skewer. <laughs> the get you there. <laughs> skewer works a little bit better on that one. And then once again, you have your stuffed breast. Uh, gentlemen, if I may interrupt, and if you'll take a look at mine, I thought I would point out that I chose to aerate the top of my breast. Uh, I feel that this will allow the glaze or the sauce to get into the breast more. This was on purpose. The knife slipped, didn't it? No, this was on purpose. I think, I think that this will actually be a better dish because of it. There you go. Uh, I'm going to have to you shatter go. your world, but that is the the downside, which is not the service side. That's that's just going to sear and cook away, Trig. It's going to actually dry out because you, you opened it up. Exactly. You opened it up. You needed to keep it closed together. It's an innovation. Innovation, my... You know what. Seriously. Stop, stop being a baby and let's keep, keep going here. All right. And as we are here... Savage Kitchen. I, I thought it was... Your name, but it's... It's, it's a little bowl. It's, it's a reality. <laughs> <laughs> we do, and like I said, everyone, we do like to have fun. I do have fun in my kitchens. This was our stuffed pheasant. Basically, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We'll season a little salt and pepper on top. Heat up a nice saute pan. Sear it. Finish it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. Mm. Serve it with some wild rice and our, or our raspberry demi. Well, thanks. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> I know. It's I been a pleasure that. to see us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for you, too. Yeah. Um, no, and I actually I got a doggy bag for the dog with the hearts and the gizzards and stuff. We always it's leave. Bonus. Chef, it's been a pleasure. Warren, it was a pleasure. Uh, please come back again. Like I said, actually, I've had a little more fun this time around. <laughs> for for future good. guests, uh, special guests of the, of the Savage Kitchen, that's you can expect you one of these for your own in the green room. <laughs> that's right. You don't get exactly one of those bags of favors. Right. You get gizzards. I, who can ask for anything more? I don't know. Nice. Thanks, Thank Warren. you, Warren. And guys, this week is another special. If you want to taste Chef's stuffed pheasant breast with that duck cell that we made a couple episodes ago, then come into the dining room this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and utter the phrase, pheasant innovation. It's not innovation. <laughs>